Hello everyone. Today I will be presenting a proposal for a movie event to be held here at the Clio Library. I will go into detail of why we should hold this event, who we, this event will be held for, how much it will cost, and our hopes for this event and other events moving forward. The rise of book movie tie-ins premiering at the box office has risen dramatically over the past decade. Most of the current based on movies have a built-in audience that draws in that audience to the theater. Film companies are discovering new novel titles to turn into books every day. Even the lesser known titles are being turned into movies with the hopes of the opposite happening. The movie turning fans onto those books. As a library, we are constantly searching for new ways to bring people into the library and finding new ways for people to feel a sense of belonging in a safe space where they can express themselves without fear. Our movie event will do just that. Though it will be predominantly aimed at youth and teens in the community, everyone and anyone is invited. Our goals for this event are as follows. Increased foot traffic into the library from our communities and the surrounding communities, including the neighboring county of Saginaw County. Number two, increased interest in the library and the services we offer while also highlighting other branches in the district. Number three, creating a community within a community for people who share similar interests. Number four, Cultivating a sense of community and safe space amongst our patrons while also inviting and encouraging visitors to join. Number five, establishing a safe haven for the youth and teen population in our community to seek out when needed. And number six, introducing people to the collections we have in the library. So who is this event geared towards? Our aim is the youth and teen population in our community because they are the future of literacy and the information age. Our library is located within walking distance of the local middle and high schools and within driving distance of the local elementary schools. The youth and teen population, those under the age of 20, make up 20% of our community, but are only responsible for 0 .7, 0 0.75 circulation per capita in our district. By creating this event, we are not only reinforcing what the library can offer, but also introducing this section of the population to what our library can offer them. So what movies and why those? For this first event, we will be showing Black Panther in the first Hunger Games. Our reasoning behind these movies is the sheer popularity of both movies. Black Panther to date has a worldwide box office gross of over $1 billion and won three Oscars at the 2019 Academy Awards. The Hunger Games released in 2012 grossed almost $700 million worldwide and had a positive effect on the sale of the original trilogy. Publishers saw an increase in sales after the movie was released. I have chosen these movies because of their positions within their respective series. Though Black Panther is part of the MCU, it is not necessary to see all the movies to understand this one. It can stand alone. The Hunger Games is just the first movie in the series and stands to create the world of Pan Am. Both movies and their respective books are in our collections, but we will need a movie license in order to show them at our event. This movie event will be held here at the library. Though the Clio Area Senior Center, which is just up the street, is an option, our library would be the better choice for this event. This event will be held upstairs in our large multi-purpose room, which will be converted into a mini theater with bean bags from the children's room, patrons bringing their own seating, and chairs for patrons who may need them. Because the library is located near the corner of two state highways, highways 54 and 57, and is close to the county border to Saginaw County, holding the event here will draw and introduce people to the library and the services we offer. 
Though the district's event budget is $38,000 and the digital budget is $10,000, our plan is to boost our budget through the use of grants and local sponsorships. Our current budget plan is for $3,000 with a budget breakdown of $2,700 with a cushion for any emergencies that may occur while trying to set up this event. We are in the process of applying for the Baker and Taylor Entertainment Audio Music Video Product Award and other grants to help pay for this event. Our current sponsorships include the donation of popcorn from an advertisement at Cinema the Hollywood in Birch Run, the donations of snacks from an advertisement at VG's Grocery in Clio, and student sign language interpreters from Mott Community College in the University of Michigan Flint, which we will also be providing subtitles during the movies. This chart breaks down the proposed $2,700 budget into individual categories. Since we already own a Blu-ray player, we will need other equipment and accessories such as a TV, cables, and speakers. In order to show the movies here in the library, we will need a public performance license, which costs annually $180. The license package comes with promotional materials and templates, which will be needed which will need to be printed out. 15 of the $215 ad portion will be used for advertisements in the local newspapers. Because of our proximity to the local high school and because of the seniors' requirements for service work for graduation, we will be recruiting from the high school as well as recruiting from the various organizations around the city. Their duties will include passing out flyers, setting up the space with tables, chairs, and bean bags, helping set up the equipment, assisting patrons, and cleaning up after the event. Because of the labor intensive nature of this event, we will need additional help from employees. The bulk of the planning will be handled by myself, but the help from my fellow employees will be invaluable. Their duties will include introducing our services to those who may not know about them, answering any questions, holding discussions after the movies, and providing any assistance needed before, during, and after the event. As stated previously, our ultimate goals for this event is to drive patrons and visitors into our library and to create a safe space for people, not just the youth and teens of our community, to come together to share their interests. While we run the risk of the event failing due to the lack of participation and the potential pushback on the chosen movies, I believe that this event will demonstrate to the community that we care and acknowledge their interests. Though it may not be immediately apparent, this will have a positive impact not just on our library, but on the community of Clio and its surrounding areas. Thank you for listening.